SAP Ferry Launch Pad. Click on that. So that system will ask you for inputting the your user ID and password. So once you give that user ID and password, uh, you will get your home screen based on the roles assigned. You will see the multiple tiles. Use this button to see your, all of your activities. And I'm going to do the business partner master. Okay, we are going to create the business partner first. So click on business partner. So maintain business partner, we need to use that. Maintain business partner. Let us keep the same word here. Maintain business partner. It, is, it, it looks like a BP transaction. Click on maintain business partner. So system will give you the screen like BP. And uh, open BP group organization person. So what we are going to do, click on organization. Grouping, you can choose your group, which you created, GBP1, GP business partner. Okay, this is the one I created. So use your own grouping. And for the complete uh, business partner related uh, video, we have uh, on uh, Udemy and uh, in the platform, wherever you are checking, the complete business partner you can learn. So you, where the grouping, how to create the grouping and all you will learn in those sessions. Select your grouping and the BP role, business partner, general. So once you get the business partner general, and uh, I'm using internal, so I don't have to give the number. Otherwise, I need to give the external number. Company, what we are going to give? We are going to give Sherwin goods and services okay that is that uh, vendor name we can give such item see such there are two such items are provided so in ecc mostly we see that one such item so shavin street you can put it um Rishikonda and something five three double zero forty five city or you can use anything, whatever the address and all. India, region, I believe zero one. Yeah. So email, everything you can input. Uh, you can input uh, NH.SAP 2015. Okay, we maintain these details, address, address for you if you want to see, and identification, identification, any details, like whether it's what kind of industry, those details also, we can give standard industry, real estate, financial services, or energy supply, okay, energy supply and distribution. So the description you can see, the identification number, the identification details and all, whatever you configure, you can input those details. Okay, then click on save. You can click check and save or directly you can save. Better to click check and save. So the business partner is created. You can see at the bottom 400252 business partner is created. Now what I'm going to do, click on change because it is in the display mode, change. And I want to go for FLV and supplier. Supplier financial accounting. Okay, I want to maintain the supplier accounting. Save changes first, yes. So we are maintaining the supplier. Once you click on that supplier financial thing, you will see our new data here, company code. Okay, if it is not visible, you can click on these three dots so that the company code will be visible. Click on company code. It will ask you to input your company code and click enter. Once you give the company code, you can see the supplier number is not yet generated. Business partner is created, but supplier is not yet created. So you give the company code and the reconciliation account. You can give, 
फिल इज सिक्सटीन डबल जीरो डबल जीरो शॉर्ट की डबल जीरो वन planning group otherwise any other information you can give withholding tax code if you are using the withholding tax code and all this previous accounting number uh, if there is any other uh, number is available for that supplier in your um, system before you come to sap s for hana what are the system if you have any account number that you can store that number details then go to payment transactions and give the payment terms g Zero zero two. Tolerance group payment reason, and uh, this is mandatory field. Check double invoice. You can see the mandatory field is in the uh, bold letter, and also system is giving you that uh, information. So the bold letter information you can see here. The required field. Double check invoice. Click on check button, and then click check. So that once you click on check button. if there are any kind of a mandatory fields system will ask you to input it long ways it is asking english check okay business partner all the information is available identification details control okay what is the bp type control parameters whether it is a employee or a company okay stakeholder what kind of a thing you can select so is employee or a broker sales agent sales representative what kind of a bp type also you can give that one so i will cancel like that details now just click on check and save Okay. If based on the BP type, if you are maintaining any kind of control parameters, it will be updated. So now you are going to, or else you can uh, choose your based on the requirement. Mostly, this entire accounting data will be working with finance. Okay, what information they want to keep it, all those information. Now click on save. The save button in Fury you will see at the right hand side bottom. The supplier accounting data is created. now we are going to select supplier purchasing data once you click supplier purchasing data click on three dot you saw the new button called purchasing input your purchasing organization so order currency inr payment terms so g002 you can choose whatever payment terms you want purchase group all mandatory fields it is automatically taking i'm clicking enter only okay or else you can click the check button okay all the import schema group supplier which is going to play a role for the pricing procedure this all fields if you see similar like ecc how you are going to input it so click on check button so all good then go to partner function you can see here partner function the we maintain the proper configuration so that ordering address has come with the same name supplier not editable because in the configuration we put it as a no change and invoicing party good supplier ordering address these all you can change for example if you want to have a different invoicing party you can have the different invoicing party also okay. i have a vendor i can have a different invoice party who is taking care about my invoices that also we can maintain it okay we are not using any vendor sub ranges and all partner functions purchasing data is maintained click on check button all good then save okay purchasing data is also created you can go to sap sa16n but 100 52 we created the what the roles like bp role those roles are created what are the roles we assigned so both vendor master and those details are created 